Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. YouTubers, we've got a shorty here, and when I say shorty, I mean short. Uh, this guy talked to me yesterday, and we kind of negotiated back and forth, and and finally he, he says, okay, do it. And then he calls me about seven o'clock last night and says, don't do it, don't do it. Then he calls me at seven o'clock this morning and says, okay, do it. <laughs> the problem is, is I have to have it done by noon and it's now 8.30. So we're gonna get started on this pretty quick and film it and uh, I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so basically we've got this plastic piece now and, and it works really well it's actually a really interesting design it's a latch for a gate and so uh this part this is goes on the gate and it swings around and when it gets close a magnet pulls in the, the little latch so it's real positive but he built the gate and didn't realize that this is one inch wide and the gate is three quarters. So he needs to take a, a quarter inch off of the whole thing. Uh, but of course he can't do it here because the magnet's in there. So uh, we're going to take a quarter inch off for him. We're sitting on three quarters material here. Let me make sure that is three quarters. Seven fifty-one. That's close enough. All right. So uh, what we have to do is cut a uh, little taper, right, and then cut the length, which is about there. Uh, so I'm thinking it might be better to go ahead and just. Whew, I don't know. Let's just cut it. We'll throw in a nice sharp bit. I'm going to get a brand new one. And nothing like a brand new bit to get a job done quick. Okay, this goes in here. bring this up a little bit further well, that's as far as it goes okay fine Bam. so first thing we need to do is bring this down to let's see that's three quarters that way so we need to take this thing down to about this height right here so that would be somewhere in that general area you make sure everybody's tight Hog time. All right, obviously we're not centered or not square so what we can do is let's make sure we're on center or on zero we are on zero so we'll just uh cut this side and cut this side and then that'll be square up this way and we'll just work from square there
So there's our basic shape. Okay, so now what we want to do is take this corner off and this corner off. <coughs> so it looks like our bit has walked down. I was putting a lot of pressure on it. Yep, it walked. So, let's see what we can do about getting this thing to rotate around. And the cool part is, is that all of these angles and measurements are random. Not random random, but, you know, they're not precise. Let's just get the metal off and let's make this thing work. Okay. Okay, 35, 37 degrees. So we'll bring it around to 37 degrees on this side. Tighten it up. Mm. Okay, so we're just digging things out right here. Okay, our measurement here is somewhere in that general area, 370, and here's our line, and there's our 370. Okay, we got our basic shape. Looks good. 
No, it's, I don't know, it's a little wide. How's it coming? Hey, pretty good. No, I think we're going to be all right. Okay, so that's that. Now what we need to do is put our uh, slot in here. Now the problem is, is that the magnet is right here and the slot goes and you can't punch through to the magnet. So uh, it's going to be a pretty thin uh, channel that we're going to cut. First thing we've got to do is get the right size. Okay, uh, time to swing this back to zero. So, put our 7 16th bit in. center let's see from this edge forward is 355 and so 355 let's get some die come on there. Okay. And we've got one, two, three, fifty five to there. to the bottom and to the top oops is some weird metric size 450 so 355 and 450 
805. That takes us to the top of our of our <clears throat> pocket. Now halfway is from here. Gonna get my head in the way in this for a second. From here to there is three inches twenty, so one and a half ten. There's dead center. Jason, you got that scribe out there? Yeah. Yeah. Gone. I just about got it all figured out on those on those drills on those holes. Okay, I'll come out in a second and check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's center. Now the full length of our hole is or of our pocket is nine no eight eighty so four forty takes us to the edge that whilst we're here yep yep okay there's our pocket now the question is is how far down is the magnet? Is that that's the magnet right there? Okay, that's good. We can measure that. So the magnet is right there. And we drop this in at three seventy. Is that from the side? Yeah, three seventy deep is the magnet. So if I went down 350 and then the other side of the magnet is let's see so if I went down 350 then the other side of the magnet is and we don't have to be too far. Let's say 400, 350 and 400, 750. Okay, we're, we're set. What was that measurement? <laughs> uh, 370, I believe. Let's take it again. 360. 360. So 350 would be our measurement because we want to leave a little bit of room maybe even 340 yeah okay 340 let's get in place
Now this bit is just slightly smaller than the than the measurement because the measurement is metric and this bit is seven sixteenths. So there's zero and we will mark our zero here. Set zero. So basically we just go down three forty. Right? <laughs> I hope. Okay, lock our Gibbs. And we're set. Let's make sure we We went down 330. We're just going to stay with that. And let's just make sure our pin is going to work there. Well, we can't really. Eh, sure we can. <laughs> Looks like it's going to work just fine. Let's see how much swap is in the other part. actually less so we're good okay so we need to take it out to those those corners which shouldn't be too difficult or at whoop, 198 Oh, we must be sitting on a chip or something. One ninety-eight. Oh, I moved this down. <laughs> Don't freak me out. Okay, so what we're do gonna do is we're just gonna go sideways just a little bit so we can recalibrate our measurement and reset okay come back to zero and we are sitting at 334 I can live with that all right Okay, that's good for that. Now, that's good for that side. Now we need to come in on this side and do straight down the size of the magnet. And the size of the magnet is the width of that slot. which is 750, three quarter. Well, that'll be easy. <laughs> 